Hello everyone, this is Mason Alt with another tutorial on Introduction to Programming with Java. Um, today I'm just going to go off of what we, my previous tutorial, which was just creating text fields, um, and I'm just going to show you kind of a little bit more in depth what you can do with text fields. Um, I'm also going to go over um, e, e, the exception handler, um, because that will come into play when we do this. So. Um, I highly recommend if you haven't already watch my previous tutorial. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything that I did in that tutorial here. Um, the only thing I'm adding on to that tutorial is I'm creating an integer. It's just called from string. Um, and then what I'll be doing is just focusing on when that button gets clicked. So um, basically, what we want to do is we want to be able to um, grab that information that was from inside of our text field and utilize it. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is how to transform that string that um, was originally from that text field and use it to do specific things with it. Um, in this case what we're going to be doing is as you can see here whatever's in my text field goes into text field input which is a string and then uh, I take my integer from string and I set it equal to integer dot parse int and then the parameters is going to be a string so I take whatever this text field input is and I set it to an integer okay sounds simple enough so let's go ahead and take a look um, as you remember um, whenever I set it so 20 um, and I hit it or let's just do 22 hit it and boom, it shows me it's 22 down here because I'm still drawing that string. But then it says here, it says your selection was greater than 20. Well, how did it know that? You know, if I do 5, your selection was less than 20. So how I do that is once I have that from string, I just do simple if and else if statement. If from string is less than 20, then I just set this text field to your selection was less than 20. And then else if, if from string is now greater than 20, you know, text field dot set text, your selection was greater than 20. Well, what happens if we do just 20? Nothing. This doesn't change at all because I'm not, I'm not telling it to do anything, you know. So it's just going to stay 20. Okay, well, that's nice. That's dandy. Okay, well, what if I type in John? Well, John's not a number. Oh, look at that. Nothing broke inside of here because we're not really doing a whole lot. But as you can see, we have this um, exception that just threw. Um, so if you look in here, it says exception thread. Um, this is this the thread. We'll learn about that later on. Um, it says inside of Java and Lang number format exception. It says for input string John, um, and then eventually it'll tell you here that it's not it's not a it's not an integer you can't turn John into a number John cannot be a number John is a set of four characters J O H N and that which comprises a string um, so a J is not a number an O is not a number an H is not a number um, and an N is not a number what if I do 20 John still throws that same exception because everything that it looks at here because it parses this it parses this entire string okay so what it does is it looks at the two it says is two a number okay great okay and then it looks at zero is zero a number yeah great looks at this space space number no it's not a number so it's stopping there now and it's saying okay I can't do this because I just found something inside of the string that wasn't a number okay so it can no longer do that well how do we handle that how do I how do I prevent that from happening um, and do something else with it? So um, let's go ahead and just we'll, we'll get we'll comment out this whole section here. Okay, and now this is going to be a little bit. Um, it's not too difficult to understand. Um, this is called an exception handler. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to find any um, exception errors and it's going to 
instead of just spouting out a bunch of error code for the um, for the techie guy to read, it's going to handle it in a way. It's going to understand that, hey, this is an error and we need to handle it somehow. So the way you do that is you type in try and open it. Okay. We want to try this. Okay. And so it's going to try this specific code. So what you want to put in try is you want to put in the code that is going to possibly throw an exception. Okay. And now we type in catch and then excuse me because I'm not a genius I can't just remember these things off the top of my head um, okay so now what you type in here is you type in the the actual the name of the exception so what you type in here is as you can see down here it says number format exception that's our exception so that throws a million places in this thing so we now know that our exception that we want to try to look for is called number format exception and then just like you do with anything else you have to give that a name so just like action event event we're just gonna name this E you could name it exception you could name it whatever you want now what we're gonna do is so we have right now we're trying to parse this string okay if it catches the number format exception then this is kind of just like an if statement if it catches the number format exception then run a certain block of code okay well let's say we want our text field we're going to set the text to your selection was not a number please try again okay all right well let's go ahead and run this real quick all right so let's see here. If I hit 20, it's fine. It works just dandy, okay? If I hit 50, it's fine. Nothing changes because nothing it's not doing anything other than just putting the text down here, okay? Now, let's say I type in John again. Oh, look at this. It says your selection was not a number. You know, please try again. It didn't throw any ugly error codes down here or anything like that. Um, so that's how you would handle an exception. Now, let's say we get rid of this. Now, so we try that, okay. And then let's say we we go ahead and we uncomment this stuff out now. So let's go ahead and run this now. Now let's type in John. Let's uh, let's type in first 50, okay? Your selection was greater than 20. Okay, cool. I understand that. 10. Your selection was less than 20. Cool. That's right. John. My selection was less than 20, but John's not an integer. Well, see the issue is is that when you're working with integers, you if an, an integer can't be null, unfortunately. Um, which I've tried to work around this. I haven't figured out a way. I'm sure there's a really smart way to do this. But so when you're you look at this, we want to say that your selection is not an number. Please try again. You know. But unfortunately, since we're going and ahead and doing all this different code here, um, we can't stop this code from being ran unless we you know put in some type of like boolean or something like that. Um, so what we what happens is that the from string, if it's null, um, it's going to be defaulting to zero, okay? Or um, let's say, uh, or maybe if we previously had it set to 50, um, I don't believe it gets changed at all. So let's go ahead and type in 50. We'll find find that out right now. Your selection was greater than 20. Okay, so it just keeps it what it previously was. So it doesn't always if it if it didn't have a uh, if it did not have any prior um, number to it. Like if I just set this to int from string, it doesn't have a value right now. And I ran this and put John in it. Um, you'll find out. I'll show you. It'll default to zero and it'll tell us that it's uh, less than twenty. See. 
So like I said, if it if it does not have a value, um, it's assumed to be zero if it's an integer. So um, a way you could get around that would be to um, I don't know. Let's type in boolean error equals false. Okay. So we have a boolean right now. We don't have any errors because we haven't even ran our program yet. Okay. So let's say um, error equals true. So we had an error. Now we can do if not error. So this is kind of a fancy way of saying if error equals false. Um, if 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 we don't have an error, then we run this. Okay, now watch what happens when we type in John right away. There we go. See, now we have your selection was not a number. Please try again because what happens is now, even though John it, or even though our from string integer is considered zero, it says, "All right, we tried it. It didn't work it through this number format exception." So what we did is we set the text field text to your selection was not a number. Please try again, and then we set error to true. Okay. So and then what happens is. Um, it'll go through and it'll skip all of this code here. So, um, and then what you do is you're going to want to then obviously set it back to false before you run ever anything again. So, um, otherwise, if you don't ever set it back to false, even though even if you did type in 20 or a number or something like that it will, would still not do that so you have to make sure you always if you're gonna change something you set it back so now if I type in 23 there you go um, so if you have any other questions let me know go ahead and post your comments but that's kind of the gist of how to utilize something from a text field in a practical manner and then how to handle exceptions so you can so you don't have to worry about it because I mean I feel like we should have learned exceptions should have been something that goes along with this especially since the the wall project requires you to um, convert that uh, string into an integer I really feel like we should learn kind of everything that we're going to be dealing with you know as we deal with it so all right well if you have any questions, like I said, just comment um, on D2L or on this YouTube, and I will get back to you. Have a good one.